when the limit as x goes to plus or minus infinity of f of x is positive or negative infinity, we say that f of x is divergent, that f of x diverges to either positive infinity or to negative infinity. Here are some divergent functions. The limit as x approaches negative infinity of x cubed minus 6x squared plus 1 over 3x squared plus 2x minus 5. Well, we've got some grains of sand. 1 and negative 6x are a grain of sand compared to the magnitude of the infinity expanding next to them, as are negative 5 and 2x. Now, we have x cubed over 3x squared. Our numerator is expanding at a much faster rate than our denominator, but we could also just simplify this as uh, x over 3, since x cubed divided by x squared is just x. Well, as this goes to negative infinity, negative infinity over 3 is still just negative infinity. And so the answer here is negative infinity. Be careful about your odd and even exponents as x goes to negative infinity. If the difference between your leading, co your leading terms is odd, you're going to go to negative infinity. If the difference is even, you'll go to positive infinity. Of course, that's if you're taking the limit as x goes to negative infinity. Let's set the limit as x goes to negative infinity of e to the negative x. Well, if you plug in negative infinity into x, you can't really plug in negative infinity into x because x never actually gets to negative infinity, but we can think of it this way. If you were to kind of plug this in, you would get e to the negative negative infinity, which is the same thing as e to the positive infinity, which diverges to infinity. Here we have the limit as x approaches negative infinity of x minus x squared. Well, compared to the magnitude of x squared, we can get rid of this x. So we have now the limit as x approaches negative infinity of negative x squared. If we were to square negative infinity, we would get positive infinity. But then we multiply that by negative 1, and it becomes negative infinity again. So the answer to this one is negative infinity. Not because we're approaching negative infinity and x squared is negative infinity. No, 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 no. x squared is always going to be positive. But we multiply that by this negative out in front. And last but not least, here's the limit as x goes to infinity of e to the x over x to the k for any positive value of k. Now k has to be a value, it can't be infinity. It has to be some value, it could be huge like a thousand, a million, a Google, but it has to be some number. Now I'll tell you this one right off the bat. This one diverges. The reason is because as x gets really, really, really big, e to the x at some point doesn't have to happen now, doesn't have to happen uh, very soon, but far off in the future, e to the x is going to get massively huge. Much, much bigger than x to the k. And because we're going off to infinity, wherever that happens, you have an infinite more to go from there. And so, your numerator is blowing up at a much, much faster rate than your denominator. So this actually diverges off to infinity.